Things appear to be moving fast for the newly titled, newly rebooted Spider-Man movie from Marvel and Sony Studios, Spider-Man Homecoming. Before the reboot was named with the title Homecoming, a report hit the internet saying the villain who will act as the primary antagonist against Tom Holland's Spider-Man will be Vulture. And now Variety adds to that report saying Michael Keaton is now in talks for the villain role. Though plot points about his character are being kept under wraps, many fans can't help but notice that Keaton is the perfect age to play Vulture, aka Adrian Toome. Cop car helmer John Watts is directing the movie from a script by Horrible Bosses scribes John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein. Spider-Man Homecoming opens in theaters on July 7th, 2017. Josh, what do you think about Mike Michael Keaton joining the cast of Spider-Man as a villain? Oh, I mean, I've been on the show a bunch of times talking about my not disdain for Spider-Man, but just like overall exhaustion of the franchise. You know, they've rebooted it. This is the third reboot of it. It's like quit breaking up with your ex-wife and remarrying her. I mean, it's, but uh, obviously I love Michael Keaton and I, I'm from Pittsburgh. He's from Pittsburgh. He's my favorite Batman. Uh, I think that there's something about that dude. Listen, Birdman, somebody can be like, oh, Birdman's going to be Vulture. Oh, look at that. That's cool <laughs> casting. And they say, oh, look at that. Look oh, at that. Oh, that's that. going to be like all that. All right, all right. Um, but cut last week on, on Movie Talk, when I said three idiotic things, one of the things <laughs> I did things? say... Uh, Wolverine's in the MCU. Right. My bad. Right. Uh, Andrew Garfield. I don't remember saying that, but apparently I did. That he was still Spider-Man. He's not. I know, guys. I'm not a moron. I know this. And that it's Rogue One. Clark guys, just got really confident okay, for tomorrow. Think yeah, about this yeah. for a second, guys. She's down. rogue. She could be a rogue one. Anyway, yeah. what I'm saying is that I said last week that I would love to see Vulture. Vulture was an underrated character in the comic books and uh, when they were coming with Sam Raimi's 4 that Clark brought up earlier is they were going to have John Malkovich play Vulture which totally makes sense he's like a creepy little old bald guy whatever Michael Keaton brings that gravitas of like smart alecness that I think John Malkovich would have just been super serious now does this mean like we're throwing we're jamming Michael Keaton back in another action franchise or a superhero franchise that would be cool with me that would okay. totally be cool with me I'm, I'm down he's been killing it lately really the wolf yeah I'm I'm on board um I love the idea of Michael Keaton doing anything really I think he's fan I want him to do bigger things yeah. um and I love that he is back in the limelight and that this could actually be a thing and like we were talking off camera and like you just said you know they've been wanting to do vulture for a while yeah. in these movies and I like the idea that we're about to maybe see him the other thing is I would say I like Keaton as a villain now I know that the Robocop remake was not everyone's cup of tea that's fair however However, I did think that him in this kind of corporate, douchey, businessman, villainish, villainish role, I loved that. I thought he was great. And so, you know, as far as I'm concerned, Keaton can do no wrong. Mm. And um, and I love the idea of him. I also like the idea that the script is coming from, you know, some more comedic uh, screenwriters. Because, Josh, I agree with you. I have Spider-Man fatigue. I know you guys, have, everybody else apparently has seen Civil War except me, and so that's fine. But um, And everybody's talking about how great Spider-Man is. And I think that's exciting. But, you know, before I see Civil War, I have to say I'm exhausted with yes. Spider-Man. But yeah. I love this casting. Um, I was not, I wouldn't say I was exhausted from Spider-Man, but I was just like, they're starting to really hurt the character with mm -hmm. the movies they were doing. But then I saw Civil War. So bring me Spider-Man, bring me as many as you can, bring me the collaboration mm -hmm. between Sony and Marvel. Give me, give me, give me. And the other thing that I want is Michael Keaton. Oh, you mean like I should be over? Uh, I want to see Michael Keaton. How at, dare you? Yeah, I want to see him as Vulture. I want to see him in one of these movies, and I also think it's a great opportunity to have him in the Spider-Man movie in the MCU. Mm -hmm. So now whether or not he craps out at the end of this movie or whether or not he, he lives on and then continues on and maybe pops into another MCU movie, cool. I think that's kind of what you'd want to do if you get a talent like Michael Keaton, but you never know what the story is going to tell or where, what they're going with. But yeah, I mean, who doesn't want to add Michael Keaton right now? And exactly what you said, he's back in the limelight, whether it be Birdman or any of these movies that he's popping into that he's kind of getting. I mean, look at Spotlight. Spotlight, I mean, yeah. Spotlight, Two best so, picture movies. Yeah. Is, I mean, that's ridiculous. He, He's he's just he's got his he's got his career back and he's got it and it's because he remember though he after for a while he just he, it wasn't even he much of a low he didn't no, do he much just, he, he just disappeared he, he went down, to his ranch he, in Montana he turned and down he hung a lot out. of stuff absolutely he, but he, he did Herbie fully loaded which obviously not the best and that one he did like a indie with Jane Lynch and Alexis Bledel I forget what that was called Catherine Reitman was actually he in that did movie. well oh, he did it, it was um, I don't know. 
well, she, one of them. Any, anyway, yeah. he was in that movie. Uh, yeah. was, um, so I'm on board, man. I think that it's a, it's great to have him involved. So how about you guys? Are you guys excited that Michael Keaton is going to be in this? And the other question I have for the viewers out there, the younger viewers, that maybe were not familiar with Michael Keaton three, four years ago, and then maybe you were introduced to him, whether it be Birdman or Spotlight. How did you discover Michael Keaton if you're a younger film goer? And if you are, or sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, or on SNL last year where yeah. he was fantastic. Fantastic. Right. And if you guys go go back and watch Michael Keaton's early filmography. In anything. Gung Night Ho. Hawks. Nighthawks. Gung Ho might be one of the greatest oh, wait, movies of the 80s. Stallone. I'm thinking of the other one. Yeah. Uh, Night, Night Shift. Does Night anybody Shift. else like, here, Nighthawks. are you any of you guys um, Johnny Dangerously? Oh, of fans? course. Yeah. My mother so, me in the balls yeah. once. <laughs> Once. You guys, the thing that's so funny that people don't remember about Michael Keaton, and I've said this other places before, is I think Keaton could have had Tom Hanks' career. Keaton is just as funny and just as talented. But, you know, sometimes whatever, for personal reasons, maybe it doesn't gel. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe you know, when you were the biggest thing in the world and Batman was the biggest thing in the world, that's a lot of pressure. Yeah. And especially at a time where you didn't have a superhero movie coming out every two months. Yeah. So, you know, I, I'm so... So so glad that he's back, but Christian and Mar and Josh are absolutely right. Like, go back and watch more Michael Keaton. Mm -hmm. Multiplicity. Yeah. By the way. Oh, Multiplicity. Well, remember also the thing is that he's in talks for That's the villain true. as well. It, it just it's this heavy kind of rumored when they come this. Fast and Furious, it turns out, like again, with our Han Solo story, it seems like that's going to be the guy. It seems like Keaton's going to be the guy uh, to play the villain. So he's in talks, but it just it's us getting excited whether or not he's going to be in it. So, Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.